Hello everyone, thanks to see you again. I am RK. In this video, let's see how to use reverse proxy in Nginx. So, reverse proxy is like, uh, for example, in Tomcat, to access the server or a Tomcat website, you need to use the port 8080 every time with your domain name. But when we are using a reverse proxy to redirect it to port 80, so you don't need to enter the port 8080 each time. Instead of it, only the domain name is enough to visit the Tomcat site. Here I'm opening the terminal. Here let's open the Tomcat and run that. Here you can see the Tomcat is running and using the local host code and 8080 so let's make it to run in port 80 so for that we need to install the nginx let's install this Okay, here the Nginx is installed. Let's check the status of that. Okay, here the Nginx is running. For just now, let's stop this. Here we are going to use a domain name to check this like a web server. So for that, let's open our host file. Here we are going to use example.com. Copy this domain name. One, two, seven, dot zero, dot zero, dot one. Let's paste it here. Let's save and, and close this. Okay. Here it's now pointing to our local machine. Let's get back to the Nginx. Here we need to open the Nginx directory. To assign a new domain in the Nginx, we need to add the configuration in the site enabled directory. We have the default config file in the site's available directory. Let's copy that file. Let's name this as example.com.config. Here we need to open that file. Here we have some default configurations and as default it's pointing to the www slash html directory and these are the files it need to be fetched automatic. Let's edit this file. Here we don't need this root directory. 
and our domain name or the server name is example.com if you wish you can also add www to the example.com but here now we are not going to use that just make it as updated here in the host file we haven't made the configuration for www dot so if we try to open that it will redirect it to the official site here we already have a location module let's create a new one it will be act as a reverse proxy so whatever the url that we are giving it will be displayed in the domain like here we can copy this and let's paste it here and let's close this function and that's it if you are using a php file or if you wish to run your website in https means you need to make these configurations too let's save this let's create a copy or a create a soft link for this file in the site's enabled directory so if the file is in the enabled directory then only the site will be visible sudo ln soft link slash etc slash nginx slash sites available directory example.com okay. okay here the soft link is added for the example.com let's check that here you can see so the, all the things are done let's check if if we have any mistake so do nginx test failed so it means we have made any mistake let's make changes in the example Com five. Let's remove this. Let's check this again. So we have made changes in the example dot com file, which is in sites enabled directory. Let's check this in the site's available directory too. Okay, here you can see the changes are also updated here. Now we can check the Nginx if it's done. Okay, so now the error is in the location. Here we have added two locations. Let's recheck this again. Yeah, the test is successful. Now we need to start our Nginx service. Try to open this. Here we have configured only port 80, so HTTPS will not work. Yeah, here the proxy is working now. So that's it, guys. If you have any doubt, ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear that. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.